If you look at the glasses in front of me, like I told you before, all of this color has come naturally uh, from the barrel, uh, from the making process of the barrel where we toast it and char it. And when you enter into the Jack Daniels family brands, I always like to start people off with Gentleman Jack. A Gentleman Jack uh, is the only whiskey that Jack Daniels makes that's charcoal mellowed twice. Uh, every whiskey that you see here gets charcoal mellowed at least once. Uh, and that's when it's a new whiskey and before it's matured. With Gentleman Jack, after it's been matured in the barrel, we'll bring it back to the distillery and we'll basically go back through charcoal again. And what we found is that after the whiskey has been matured in the barrel, there are things that have been absorbed by the barrel or by the whiskey from the barrel that basically can be reabsorbed by going back through charcoal again. So Gentleman Jack is the only whiskey that's in the Jack Daniels family that's charcoal mellowed twice. You might wonder what does that second pass in charcoal mellowing do that makes Gentleman Jack different than any other thing we make? And I believe the most distinct thing that it does is it removes a lot of the oak from the finish. Uh, Jack Daniels being a Tennessee whiskey and always being in a brand new barrel, uh, we have a very prominent oak finish associated with almost all of our products. Gentleman Jack would be the one exception. What we found is that by going through charcoal mellowing a second time, we can retain a lot of the sweet vanilla and caramel character that's withdrawn from the barrel during maturation, but we can take away a lot of the oak or what somehow will become a little bit of a bitter finish uh, to many uh, and, and pull that away. So we're able to steer uh, the Jack Daniels flavor profile into um, a place where for people who have maybe tasted old number seven uh, and said that, well, I, I, I don't necessarily like Jack Daniels old number seven because I think it tastes like charcoal. That's usually what people will say. And uh, even though there is no charcoal flavoring in it, charcoal doesn't have any flavoring. What they're reacting to is the oak finish from the barrel. So when we sample Gentleman Jack, when you check its nose, the aroma is definitely very distinctly vanilla and caramel, very sweet and light. If we pick it up and just kind of give it a nice swirl, you can see it's got a nice lighter, uh, more of a straw, uh, brownish hue than the rest of the Jack Daniels family. That comes from charcoal mellowing it twice. And if you check its nose, it's it is distinctly sweet, very much vanilla and caramel in character on the nose. It has a very, very front of mouth feel, very vanilla and caramel. Almost all the flavors at the midpoint of the tongue and forward. And there's a very, very little finish from the oak in the back of the throat. So it ends very quickly, very soft landing. Um, what we have found is that for people who historically drank a clear spirit, uh, Gentleman Jack kind of serves as a nice entry point into brown spirits for them. People who've tried American whiskey and bourbon type products who have conditioned their palate to, to scotch, because scotch is matured in a used barrel and doesn't have a lot of oak in its finish, uh, a lot of uh, scotch drinkers find that Gentleman Jack of the Jack Daniels family suits them the best. Uh, but it's, it's an excellent whiskey, whether neat or on the rocks. It also makes an excellent Manhattan. Uh, so we do uh, have certain cocktails that we recommend it to be used into. Um, but it's been around actually since 1988, and today it is the fastest growing brand in the Jack Daniels family.